Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals, and the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Studio Series 86, Slag, and Daniel. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, one on foil, and one on vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Slag, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome! to Patriot Prime Reviews. First up, let's take a look at Daniel, this waste of plastic here. Now, the sculpting's not too bad. It does look like the exosuit from the 86 movie, but I wish he had his face. He just looks like a bullet head there. Let's see, not many paint applications at all. You've got some yellow right there for the chest, blue for the hands, and some very light green for the legs. Other than that, there is not much to talk about. But like I said, it's sculpted really, really good. So there is one final look at Daniel before and after. Daniel gets a few new decals thanks to Toy Hacks. Right here on the front of the figure, he gets a blue decal right there on the chest. Two blue decals for the waist, a half moon decal there for the knee, and two half moon decals there on the ankles. And that's all you get for Daniel. I still wish that he got some kind of decal for the helmet so you could see his face in there. But I know decals for those rounded sections can be a little tricky. So there you go, guys. There you have Daniel after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, slag looks awesome and very cartoon accurate. Taking a closer look at the figure, he's got great paint applications there for the eyes. Big red Autobot logo there on the chest. Moving on down to the legs, he's got a little bit of paint details on the knees some gold feet, and really, that's about it for paint applications. You see a lot more right there, but we'll go into that more in Triceratops mode. Lots and lots of great sculpted details all the way around. I mean, they killed it with this figure. He just really doesn't have a lot of paint applications. So there you go. One final look at Slag in robot mode before. And after. Slag's robot mode isn't as plain looking now thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, starting here with the head, he does get brand new eye decals that look really, really good. I love how they catch the light. He also gets a new decal right there for the chest, along with a new Autobot insignia on white backing. Also, new chrome red decals right there and a new blue and silver decal there on the shoulders. That is a throwback to the Generation 1 toy. Blue decals right there on the torso. Decal right there. Two red and black decals on either side of the crotch piece. Moving on down to the legs, we get red decals right there. And let's see, the side of the legs, you get some decals here. And there, and what I really like is the gun gets decals. The weapons usually don't get much love from Toy Hacks, but I do like how that looks. Also, here on the shoulders, we got some chrome. And really, that's about it for robot mode. Man, I'm slipping. I almost forgot to show you guys the decals right there on the inside of the wings. They're very Generation 1 inspired and look really, really good. Now, fortunately, these wing sections can pop right off, which makes it a lot easier to apply these decals. As you can see, you got quite a few of them. You got the real big one right there, the two smaller black ones, and those little tiny 
black and yellow. And of course you flip on this side, makes it easy to apply the decals here that you'll see in dyno mode. So there you go guys, slag in robot mode after. In dyno mode, straight out of the packaging, slag looks great and shows off a lot more color than he did in robot mode. Taking a closer look at the figure, I love the head. The head on this dyno looks great. It's got the gold face, lots of great molded detail. I love the blue eyes. The way that's painted, it just has this shine to it, just the way the light catches it. Big red Autobot logo there on the forehead. Lots of molded detail right there along the crest. It's a shame he has these big hollow sections in the horns. That was my one big complaint when I did a full review on this figure. Inside the mouth, a lot more molded detail. Gold there for the jaw, red on the inside. Moving along the side of the figure, we've got some black right there for the front shoulder. More great molded details. This section right here is kind of an off-white. I always thought that was kind of like a missile launcher in a way. Top of the figure, we've got some gold for the faux robot feet. More great details all the way around. You got the gold tail right there and the tip of the tail, which is the robot blaster. So all in all, slag in dyno mode looks awesome and I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for him. So there you go, guys. Slag in dyno mode before. And after. Slag's Dino Mode looks even more impressive now thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, he gets new decals right there for the crest. And man, those look so good. But be warned, these are a challenge to put on because there's a lot of sculpted detail right there that's really hard for the decals to grab a hold of. So mine, you know, I put one on, it popped right off. Really hard to get that grip. So a lot of time, a lot of patience, but the effort was well worth it because that looks spectacular. Inside the mouth, he gets new decals right there that kind of portray his flamethrower. And speaking of flamethrower, I love the decals right there with kind of the fire on the inside because Slag's function is a flamethrower. So it looks like he's building up some flame there to shoot out the mouth. Also, you got the decals right there on the shoulders. New chrome decals right there on the feet. He gets new chrome toes. Lots of details right here on the side that are very G1 toy accurate, or G1 toy throwbacks, and I always love when Toy Hacks does that. New chrome style decal right here, and little red decals on the tips of what I said earlier was missiles. I guess Toy Hacks agrees with me. That is some kind of weapon. I dig it. Blue decal right there. Lots of decals right here on the rear leg that are also very G1 toy accurate. New decals here up on the upper hip. Decal there. And chrome toes for the back leg along with a decal on the foot. Moving on to the tail. More G1 style decals here. A new yellow gold decal to kind of blend in the tail more to this hinge. Moving on down to the blaster, you see the blue decals once again. So I really like what they did to slag. So now let's bring in G1 slag here so you can kind of see those Toy Hacks throwbacks. See right there? I love that. I always am really appreciative of Toy Hacks when they do those G1 throwback decals on the modern figures. So there you go, guys. There you have Slag in dino mode after. Toy Hacks once again knocks it out of the park with their decal set for Studio Series 86 Slag and Daniel. I love the Generation 1 throwbacks that they added to this figure. Plus, I really like how they beefed up the robot mode. Dino mode is spectacular. They really improved on that. And that may be the mode that I now display this figure in. Now, be warned, this is a challenging set to apply. There are a lot of small decals, especially with the blue decals. I forgot to show these little ones off here. There are dozens of blue rectangles, and they're all different sizes. So you really have to watch 
which decals go there in the legs, which decals go on the blaster, which decals go in the other various spots on the figure. So pay close attention to the size of the decals. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. I also want to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that keep this channel going. Once again guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!